So, I guess now it's time for horror stories in the darkness. I'm only missing the flashlight. Oh, this is so weird. Uh, but um, there's a little bit of time before the sunrise. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit draw behind the scenes here uh, of putting together the yoga course. Because my idea there is that I just keep it a little bit um, like dreamy, fairy tale, cinematic. Uh, this is for the glasses and then the vlog here obviously is super raw. And I don't have a perfect lighting, I don't have a perfect audio, da 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 da, da. all the good stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how I like it because sometimes it's nice to go to your dream world. Like that's why I personally like fantasy movies as well, and science fiction, and like Star Wars, Harry Potter, like all the good stuff. And uh, but then bring in some reality checks as well. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if this is like something that you're interested in as well. But yeah, usually I do at daytime like location scouting when I'm, I don't even have my camera. I'm just like exploring with my friends or John. And then early mornings I do all of the filming because it feels sometimes so awkward to be uh, with a lot of people so that's why early mornings are the best are my favorite because there's no people around or there's only few and they usually stay away and then i don't feel that awkward uh, with filming i'm still not used to like too much filming as well and most likely when you watch this kind of recording then i'm already somewhere in estonia because i like to set boundaries and put together everything schedule everything and then like, be offline as well so find, finding the balance online and offline so this video here will be a random clip of behind the scenes that I filmed in Madeira and then part two we will travel all the way to Estonia where I will give you other behind the scenes. So Estonia is my home country and that's where the grounding comes and I will bring you to some special places that are super close to my heart. In, in Madeira for around six months and that time I used to put together a yoga course which is start up your yoga and this is going to be a mix of vinyasa flow classes, yin classes so think of it as a computer rebooting system. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. Um, early bird uh, so i'm gonna take you along as much as i can but i also need to focus on the content so i'm not sure how much i can film but we'll see you there as you can see i woke up super early i was like trying to find the place and then it was like it's such a mess but anyways now i have filmed uh, the list i had here yeah that's how i basically work for the last six months to put together the course obviously i'm also I was at the same time working with a fitness startup, so uh, so it's like so many things happening. But on my free time, I was trying to figure out the things to work on this yoga course. So this is like something my passion project. My like uh, I'm so excited for this one. Anyways, long story short, one other question like sometimes I have had is that how do you find balance? with uh, filming yoga classes and doing your own practice. So I would say that I have three kinds of classes. One class is for myself. So no cameras allowed. Usually I don't even listen to music. Sometimes I listen to my teacher or I look online classes with my teacher. The other option, uh, the second class is that I give offline. So with my students and there I really don't like cameras. I really don't like phone videos, like anything. I just want to be present with my students. And I really don't appreciate when someone is like filming the class unless they really announce it or so. But uh, so yeah, that's the second class. So first of all, my own yoga class where there's no cameras. Then there's the second class where it's offline class with my students, uh, where there's no cameras allowed. And then there's this online classes that I'm filming here. Like these ones are, they're a little bit dreamy, like a fairy tale, fantasy. It's like, obviously it's a little bit far from reality because like sometimes like I'm waking up early, maybe there's someone on the beach, so I have to find a new location, but I really want to make them a little bit like cinematic as well and dreamy. <laughs> so if it makes sense, like roots and wings at the same time, anyways. 
So yeah, so these are the balances I have been working on and recording for the last months. Yeah, so I guess, but when you're like a one woman show, like you do the filming, editing, all of it alone, then yeah, you just have to become more creative and find the balance as well to not drive yourself nuts <laughs> because again, it's my passion project, but yeah, I really hope that it helps someone. So yeah, that's the backstory. I mean, you haven't been to the witch forest when your hair is not fizzy. And I have been to this forest like two times. One time it was covered with fog, one time it was completely clear. And I would say that if the weather is cloudy and early mornings especially, the fog is here and I really recommend to come to this kind of forest because it's just like so magical when the fog is here. Because yeah, there's like a lot of tourists, it's a tourist hotspot, uh, but the fog is like this, that the fog comes, tourists disappear and then fog goes away, tourists are back again. And yeah, so this is just like, there's something magical in this place far from reality. Uh, if I put it to my yoga videos and especially meditation, guided, med guided, guided meditation, yoga nidra, then yeah, it's far from reality. But sometimes it's like just so cool to go to these kind of like fantasy worlds as well. And then, yeah, I hope that these kind of yoga videos will bring you a little bit easier to this kind of state that learn to dream again, because I think as adults, quite often I make the mistake as well that I just completely uh, ignore my dreams and I start thinking with my thinking with my head instead of with my heart. And when I start thinking with my heart, then quite often I make the best decisions in my life um, completely. So yeah, I hope these kind of videos will bring you back back your dreams and you start dreaming again. I have been doing this one for so long and now it's time to go to reality a little bit and switch off and do some editing obviously, schedule all the content and then yes, now it's time to make things happen. But we'll see you next time. Uh, let's wrap it up and subscribe and like if you like this kind of content and if this speaks to you. Otherwise, don't. <laughs> it's okay. And yeah, see you next time. Ciao.